Lights from Amazon, I think they are. Tell me what you think about that. Change your light if it looks more YouTube than my than my previous videos. I, I think it looks a bit gimmicky, but I'm still... I think it kind of looks cool. I think I'm getting the whole making video thing on YouTube a bit better. So I've had the chance to take out the Konica 50mm 1.4 lens. Uh, it's an old lens, I, it's a vintage lens and I've had a lot of fun with it and it's certainly been very frustrating as well. Uh, yes, the lens is radioactive. All the internet reports confirm that. So just a few thoughts before I take you on a bit of a photo adventure. I'm used to taking out my X-T1 with the little pancake lens, so the 27mm, which I love. It's a fantastic lens. So going from 27mm to 50 on the, on the APS-C uh, has been real, it's actually been a real challenge, been very difficult. Uh, I'm used to having so much more breadth of view, so going from that breadth of view to it's almost like 80 millimeter equivalency has been a real was a real learning curve. Um, not not to be able to fit as much in, but it's been. The second big thing is manual focus. It's a manual focus lens which I've never had before, and it's really given me a massive appreciation for film photographers. Just some practical things about this lens. I love the clicky motion of the aperture. I love it. So I've taken this lens out on two little adventures. One I went down to the Gold Coast, Queensland's Gold Coast, out, out just for a walk around. And yeah, it was it was so nice to get around. So I'll roll some of the pictures through. Um, wide open at f, f1.4, that focus point is so narrow, it's so slim. I, 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 on my old Canon I had the 50mm 1.8 and that focus point was really slim on, on, on that little nifty 50 but this it's so much thinner. I, I haven't appreciated how thin it was but it's been fun, it was fun to walk around. Uh, fun to take some photos of the beach, fun to uh, have a look around uh, the Gold Coast. The second trip I took was just this most recent weekend, uh, my, one of my children is part of an agricultural show society, so uh, I've done a few videos uh, at, at shows before, you may have seen the one for Pittsworth, if not, I'll link it down the bottom with a rodeo there. Um, country shows are uh, different, there's a lot of movement, a lot of colour, um, and, I, and for me the, the shooting situation was very challenging. Uh, for most of the time I was in the shed. There really wasn't much natural light. There was a lot of fast moving things, sheep and children and judges. Everyone was wearing masks. Uh, it was exceptionally dusty. Um, so it was, there were challenging situations. Coupled with the manual focus, uh, was really difficult to shoot it well. Uh, it was a real challenge and a challenge that I really quite enjoyed. Um, apart from that, I had a walk around the show and, and just enjoyed being there. Just enjoyed, um, yeah, the agriculture and the livestock, the beef, the sheep, obviously, which we were there for. So these first few photos were actually in the shearing or in the sheep shed. So like I was saying before, really dark, um, not much natural light, very dusty, really quick moving things. Um, so I shot these photos wide open, just dropped my glasses. And that focus point was really hard to get. Um, but this lens has a lot of character, I'm finding. It just... It, it captures things in an old way and I like it. I like, um, at, at that shallow depth of field, that f1.4, even up to 1.8 or 2, the way it blows out that background is stunning. It's beautiful, I love it. It's just hard to get that focus point. So some of these photos have been cropped. Walking around the show, um, a lot of things that you'd expect to find, so beef, rides and things like that. 
um, it was a beautiful bright day the, the day I was there um, so I really got to um, use some of those other F's you know run F8 and things like that and this lens is sharp from 5.6 upwards up probably up to F8 the lens is sharp 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 and it's not something I've consciously thought about before um, so some of the photos of the rides of the clowns um, even the Dodgem cars, which was probably, I think, an F4, um, but those higher ones outside, it was a sharp lens. And um, yeah, so it was great, it was lovely, really nice. These last few shots of the show, at the show were in one of the pavilions. Um, and, and to be honest, it was a bit sad. <laughs> uh, you know, I know the produce wasn't fresh, the, the things that won prizes, um, but these were all at one, at F1 4. Um, just just trinkety things and there was this old guy making these wooden things that we used to make doilies it's a real dying kind of craft and I know that sounds mean uh, he said this this particular thing that is making really fell out of vogue about 300 years ago um, and it, I don't know if it's it's sad or not um, seeing people kind of revive these crafts that machines do exponentially quickly I don't know let me know let me know what you think um, but his hands told a story and the bits of thing that he was using told a story and, and that's where I wanted, to, I wanted to capture that photo. So wrapping up, um, I've loved using this lens. It's been, again, it's been a challenge using something at, at um, 50 millimeter compared to um, the 27 that I've been used to. Also, if anyone wants to throw me a, a, the, the lens hood for a Fujifilm, let me know. Uh, but it's been fun using this lens. Do I like the 50mm focal length on APS-C? Uh, if I was doing some portraits, I probably would. Uh, but for the street and documentary stuff, um, and I just, it was just a bit too narrow for me. From what I was used to, is probably the best way. I, I think I prefer that 27mm. It's a tiny bit heavy. I know it's still very light compared to um, DSLR. You know, mirrorless is still traditionally much lighter. Um, but I'm used to putting the, putting the camera in my bag, much easier. This is a bit more bulky. It's been a, it's been a fun lens though. Uh, I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. I, I've enjoyed making it, um, as I do all my, all my videos. Um, if you like these photos, if they've resonated with you, let me know in the comments what, what's your favourite set, you know, whether it be down the Gold Coast or the ones in the Sheep Shed or in the, in the Food Pavilion or out and about in the show. Let me know, let me know your thoughts. Um, and if you like the lights, fancy lights, uh, also let me know. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts. Apart from that guys, thanks for joining me. If you like this video, uh, give, it, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. I, I, these last few videos I've made have been much more popular than any of my other ones. Again, in, in YouTube terms, very meagre. Um, but for my own ego, being quite good. I really affirming. So thank you guys, thank you to the Fujifilm um, community that started watching it. Let me know if you guys have also got a vintage lens for your Fuji, um, how you use it, uh, the things that you like about it or, or don't like about it. Hit the like button, let me know your thoughts in the comments, uh, like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Check out my Instagram, Ace Creative Brisbane, I'll put the link below as well guys. Peace, love God, love others and take time to listen.